Now, some of you might remember at the end of January 2022, we had a truck crash in Pennsylvania with 100 lab monkeys on board, uh, and it prompted the CDC and the Pennsylvania Department of Health to respond, and there was a lady who like went up to the truck and was like spit on or crapped on by one of the monkeys or bitten or something like that, uh, and you know she had to be treated and and quarantined and then she like tested positive for covid or something like that and all of this weird stuff went on a few of the monkeys escaped into the woods and they had to go find the monkeys and euthanize them uh yeah it was kind of weird remember that i don't know if you all remember that it was a really strange story um and about three months later at the end of april beginning of may 2022 we now have this situation uh, in Europe and now in the U.S. with a monkeypox outbreak. Uh, now, to be fair, I will say this. Monkeypox usually starts out being spread by like rodents and stuff like that. It's not always necessarily monkeys, but it can be. And the first case was confirmed in the U.S. now uh, in Massachusetts just, you know, the past few days. Uh, but, but this was actually confirmed a few weeks back as well in uh, Portugal, Spain, the UK. So, so it's kind of spreading around the Western world and nobody really knows why because a lot of these outbreaks or whatever, these cases... Um, and I think there's over 60, 70 cases so far in the, just in a few few weeks. I mean, that's – for monkeypox, that's something that uh, is more transmissible than usual seemingly, right? Um, and, like, you never see this in the West. You never see monkeypox breaking out in the West. But, you know, it seems to be spreading quickly, and it just seems really weird, right, right, right? And it's – also very strange that, you know, we had our boy, our boy, Bill Gates, warn of a smallpox terror attack uh, just a few months back as well, about six months ago. And now he's promoting as well his germ team, um, this new UN World Health Organization group uh, uh, that, that he wants to have employed full time working on uh, having simulations for global pandemics for things like smallpox. And by the way, when he warned of this smallpox terror attack, you got to understand smallpox and monkeypox are almost basically the same thing. In fact, it's to the point where they actually use the smallpox vaccine to prevent monkeypox. And right now in Britain, they're offering go figure, the smallpox vaccine to prevent monkeypox and the spread of monkeypox in Europe. So it's that that's similar. So it's really interesting. This guy just seems to know what's going on. Like, uh, like the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation also, by the way, funded Event 201 like a month before the COVID pandemic started, uh, which just so happened to simulate a COVID-19 pandemic. Mm, yeah, a global outbreak of a COVID pandemic, uh, like a SARS type of virus spreading around the world. Yeah, in October 2019, he fi his uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation funded that operation, that drill. It just so happened. I guess he's just lucky. He just predicts things like this, right? Yeah, it's, isn't that crazy? So, um. Like I said, uh, you know, this monkeypox outbreak is something that's spreading. Now, monkeypox pox is a, a, a so-called nasty illness. It causes fever, body aches, enlarged lymph nodes, and eventually pox or painful fluid-filled uh, blisters on the face, hands, and feet. One version of monkeypox is actually quite deadly and kills up to 10% of the people infected. The version currently spreading in England is milder. Its fatality rate is less than 1%. Um, and a case generally resolves in two to four weeks. Now, of course, I mean, this is kind of weird that this is all happening because recently you had the United States order 13 million freeze-dried monkeypox smallpox vaccines um, from a Denmark-based uh, company called Bavarian Nordic. So I'm going to read this article because this is like, okay, just all these people around this, they're just experts and they just know exactly what's going on and they can just predict a monkey pox outbreak in the West, even though there really hasn't been a serious one or even one at all, I guess. I mean, I don't, I mean, I'm not an expert again and I'm not an expert on the history on this, but all I know is the, the last one really in the U S 
uh, was in like 2003 and it was only like 70 cases. We're already approaching that uh, case rate um, in the West at least um, right now. So it's already getting to that point and it could get to that point just like it did in 2003. But anyway, let's read this article. They're just ordering vaccines on this and, and um, they're pushing vaccines already in the UK. Why does this keep popping up? These articles are so dumb. Like who designs these websites, dude? Like seriously, like it just blocks the headline. Like, oh, we're just going to have a thing that blocks the headline as you're reading it. Like, oh yeah, that works. Yeah. Look, you can't read it now and you can't get the mouse off of it. <sighs> Reuters. Thanks Reuters. Rothschild run piece of crap outlet. Anyways. Yeah. Britain offering the smallpox monkey pox. Vac- I mean, they're already pushing the vaccines on you for this. And, and we're going to, and by the way, the people, just so you know, the people who are afraid of this are the blue checks, are the leftists, are the crazy wokest cult that are, are telling you to wear your triple mask and all this. So, um, and also these are the ones, uh, they're going to be a little upset when they find out who's actually spreading the monkey pox. And, 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 you know, it's one of their protected groups, one of their savior, um, um, you know, uh, <laughs> role model groups of uh, uh, oppressed uh, people. Let's put it that way. Um, You know, one of their (laughs) not straight, not cis groups. Uh, It's gay men. Okay, it's gay men. So we'll talk about that. But anyway, let's read this about the the vaccines, right? Um, And this is out of precisionvaccines.com. They say... Denmark-based Bavarian Nordic announced today that the U.S. Biomedical Advanced Research and Development Authority, or BARDA, (laughs) BARDA, uh, exercised the first options under an existing contract to supply a freeze-dried version of the Genios smallpox vaccine. First of all, according to the World Health Organization, smallpox was eradicated since 1980. Why are they producing and manufacturing a whole bunch of smallpox vaccines if it's been eradicated? That doesn't really make that much sense. The first doses of this vaccine version will be manufactured and invoiced in 2023 and 2024. Huh. Isn't that something? And we, we're just seeing like all of a sudden... This uh, monkeypox thing spread. Hmm. And this works for monkeypox. Of course, it's not just for p- smallpox. If exercised, the additional options on the BARDA contract support the conversion of up to a total of approximately 13 million freeze-dried doses of Genio smallpox vaccines that are expected to be manufactured in 2024 and 2025. So they really do plan on uh, making this a a couple year endeavor. It looks like this is going to be something that's sticking with us. It looks like this is going to be a new PSYOP. Uh, The majority of the bulk vaccine for these um, doses are already, have already been manufactured. Oh, go figure. Mm, Yeah. They just know the future. And by the way, as they'll, they'll say in this article, Um, The FDA actually approved this Genios uh, monkeypox vaccine, smallpox vaccine in the USA back in 2019. They're ahead of their game. Let me tell you, these are geniuses. These people are just no way better than us. They can just predict monkeypox in the West. You know, they can just predict it. And that's why they get these patents uh, FDA approved. Uh, right before things like this happen. Yeah, that's what it is. We must trust the experts. They know best for us. Um, a supplement to the existing liquid frozen Genios US FDA BLA will be made comprising phase three clinical study data, which has already been completed and reported, of course, of course, uh, all ready to go. Go figure. Together with the manufacturing data to support the approval of the freeze-dried version of Genios in 2024, Paul Chaplin, uh, the CEO of um, Bavarian Nordic, commented in today's press release, We are pleased to announce that the exercise of the first options under our contract with the U.S. government to deliver the freeze-dried version of the smallpox vaccine with an improved shelf life, which will be manufactured at our new fill and finish facility, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, whatever. So we get it. Um, yeah, so ready to go. All ready to go for you. 
uh, boys, all good, right? Good thing our saviors are on top of their game. Bill Gates warns of smallpox terror attack as he seeks research funds. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, he's asking for more money. Um, he's seeking research funds and he's predict predicting the smallpox terror attack. Could this monkeypox thing, could it be Russia? Ooh, yeah, I wonder if it's Russia. Wouldn't it be a perfect pretext for the U.S. to get directly involved in Ukraine if that were the narrative? Oh, it comes out like several months later in the middle of the summer 2022 that, ah, after we've researched where these, um, uh, monkeypox um, viruses are coming from. It turns out it's coming from the bio labs in Ukraine that uh, the West just so happened to fund the George Soros affiliated. Uh, what do you call it? Um, um, uh, gas, not gas prom. <laughs> um, the the Hunter Biden, you know, uh, affiliated whatever it's called. Now I'm always having these brain farts, right? Um, you know, the Ukraine company he was involved with that. In the Ukraine with the bio labs, and you know that's where it came from. And Russia has been taking over those bio labs now, and are making the monkeypox and releasing it in the West. That's what it is, right? Isn't that a perfect pretext to go in there and take those bio labs back? Just saying, I don't know. Thinking out loud, total conspiracy theory there. No real evidence to support that at this time. I'm just saying it would make sense if that ends up happening. It would be like them for that to happen, right? It, it would just be so apt. Um, Bill Gates has warned governments to prepare for smallpox, terror attacks, and future pandemics by investing billions into research and development. Mr. Gates made the comments to a, a policy exchange interview with the chair of the Health Select Committee, Jeremy Hunt. He said that countries like the U.S. and the U.K., hmm, must spend tens of billions of dollars <laughs> to fund the research, adding that while it may be expensive, it could lead to the eradication of the flu and the common cold. I'm hoping in five years I can write a book called We Are Ready for the Next Pandemic, but it'll take tens of billions of dollars in research and development. The U.S. and the U.K. will be part of that. Of course, your hard-earned tax dollars going to Bill Gates and his wet dream fantasies of just taking your money and using it to do whatever he wants with it, to play mad scientist and to pretend that he's using it to help the world when really he's using it to make 20 to 1 profit 20 to 1, 2,000% gains on his vaccines that he produces. Yes, that's his own quote, by the way. He and his endeavors with vaccines, when successful, yields him a 20 to 1 return on investment. Go figure. And also, you know, who knows what else he's doing with that money, right? With that research and development money. Uh, instead of uh, pay paying for baby formula here in the United States, R Bill Gates... Um, uh, would rather have uh, American babies starve and would rather just play mad scientist with your money. Instead of that going to, uh, like, I don't know, let's say protecting our border, he'd rather play mad scientist with your money. Um, I'm hoping in five years, I already read that, it'll uh, take probably about a billion a year for a pandemic task force at the WHO level, which is doing the surveillance and actually doing what I call germ games where you practice. Yeah, he wants, uh, notice he said the US and the UK. He wants us to be part of that. He wants us to be the ones giving the WHO the money, not anybody else. He's not asking for, you know, China to do it. <laughs> he wants us to like, you know, yeah. This guy, man, he's unbelievable. The Microsoft founder suggests that germ games could prepare the nations for bioterrorism, such as smallpox attacks on airports. Uh, Mr. Gates warned that bioterrorism uh, caused pandemics or epidemics could be worse than naturally occurring ones. Hmm, yeah, we saw that with COVID. Just kidding, YouTube. Just kidding. COVID came from a bat, right? Just like the U.S. 2020 quarter told us, came from a bat. Mr. Gates shone a light on the beneficial medical innovations that could come out of increasing investment into research and development. Um, yeah, 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 we get it, we get it. So he goes on to talk about that. Um, 
And, it, you know, all of this happening with the monkeypox, just as Bill Gates, as I talked about in my previous post, um, uh, like two, three weeks ago, whatever it was, um, he's going around trying to sell his book, How to Prevent the Next Pandemic. You know, all in this time period, the past like three weeks. So, and this is when the monkeypox outbreak is happening and the blue checks on Twitter are talking about it. And all the news media is try starting to talk about it now. Yeah, I mean, he's just really good at timing. You know, he must have, um, what do you call it? Uh, um, I don't know. He must have the luck of the Irish or something. I don't think he's Irish though, is he? I think he's more, uh, more grabbler. Um, and he goes on to say... Uh, also, that uh, we need to fund a germ team, um, which is basically like a full-time uh, team that goes on to research and um, engage in practicing and drills on global pandemics. And of course, this is all going to be done with your tax dollars, as he said in the previous article. Um, so he's going around trying to promote his germ team and, uh, germ games they're called, which are basically like drills, like the 201 drill he funded just before COVID, um, which just predicted a SARS type of virus outbreak, uh, one month before that actually literally occurred. So, um, yeah, he's just really good at that. And, um, you know, you saw him on Twitter, just like I, I went over in my previous video, how he has like a Dalmatian next to him, like a cute puppy saying, look at me. I like cute puppies. I'm like you, um, you know, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a human being and not like a shape-shifting, uh, demonic entity. Uh, you tr you can trust me, right? Right. So he's going on to say all this, trying to promote his book and his germ team. So, um, all within the past few weeks, really great timing there, Mr. Billy. And a lot of the people who are afraid of viruses and all of this are asking, how do I prevent and avoid getting the monkey pox? I'm afraid there's like one case in the U S what do I do? Do I hide under the covers? Do I wear a triple mask? Um, do I sanitize my hands every five minutes? Uh, do I go get another COVID booster shot? What do I do? Well, first of all, the best way to prevent catching monkey pox or being exposed to it is to avoid homosexuals. <laughs> Uh, is to avoid gay men. And I'm not even kidding. Uh, first U.S. monkeypox case confirmed with gay men especially at risk. And uh, this is this is pretty mainstream info, but I think this is going to be hushed under the rug if monkeypox continues to spread because this is who's spreading it. It's the gays. Um, the Massachusetts Department of Health... Oh, no, that's not the part I want to read here. Um, and this is from... Um, HIV plus magazine, <laughs> HIV plus, right? Yeah, go figure. Um, and this is from the UK authorities. So, uh, and they say here, while this is the first confirmed case this year in the US, outbreaks have occurred across Europe uh, and the UK has reported nine cases of the monkey pox virus with the first case occurring in a man who has recently traveled to Nigeria. Reuters uh, reported Spain earlier today confirmed, confirmed seven cases of the virus while Portugal confirmed a total of 14 cases. Gay bisexual men who have sex with other men are particularly at risk as evidenced by the recent outbreak in the UK which occurred amongst men in the LGBTQ plus community. The evidence suggests that there are uh, may be transmission of the monkeypox virus in the community spread by close contact, Dr. Susan Hopkins chief medical advisor at the UK Health Security Agency said in a statement released Monday, we are particularly urging men who are gay and bisexual to be aware of any unusual rashes or lesions and to contact a sexual health service without delay. Wow, look at that, huh? Look at that. What do you know? And they're saying, I think it was like three out of three out of the four or like seven out of the nine cases in the UK that have been confirmed are all gay men. So this is who's spreading the virus. Um, and this is pretty much, um, as far as we can tell, who is mostly to blame for spreading this. So um, the World Health Organization here, 
um, also uh, has announced and proposed a new preparedness um, guideline for health emergencies. And this contract is being negotiated right right now with all the nations involved with the WHO and the, U, and the UN. Um, and some, some are saying this gives the WHO more power to sort of exercise soft power within the United States and other countries involved. Um, and so the, they're negotiating this contract just as this is happening, uh, happening too. So this is, uh, it seems like this might be a real big agenda playing out in front of us. And, um, so we got to be aware of this. They're already pushing the vaccine in the UK for this. Um, so it's just kind of funny how this crash happened in Pennsylvania a few months before. I actually think this could have been maybe a, like a psyop to like test people's reaction to this in preparation for a, a monkeypox, smallpox sort of um, situation uh, to come about in the media and uh, in the Western sort of fear-based culture right now. Um, so I don't know. This was a weird story. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I mean, I pretty much went over it, but you know, this lady like found the crashed lab monkeys and like was like spit on or crapped on by one of them. He, she like thought they were cats and put her hand in the cage like an idiot. Like, do you believe this crap? Like this is something out of a horror movie, like a, like literally something out of an outbreak movie out of like from the nineties or something. Um, it's like, it, that's why it seems like a little bit of a psyop. It just, it's like a plot. It seems like a plot from a movie. You know, I remember reading this, like, this doesn't seem real. <laughs> like, like, it just seems like a plot from a movie, you know, lab monkeys crash in the highway in Pennsylvania and the late, some lady is bitten by a monkey and runs away and three monkeys take off. And then the CDC has to respond. And it's like this big thing, like a sci-fi film, like the start of a, uh, of a um of a zombie apocalypse or something. Yeah. So don't worry about the monkey pox. Do not let the fear take over your mind. And I know nobody watching this, none of my subscribers are afraid of this stuff. Um, but um it's just worth noting, you know, this could be turned into something pretty pretty substantial and it, to be used to centralize power. Uh, to take away your freedoms and to make you poorer, you know, and, and to siphon your money too, you know, like what Bill Gates is trying to say that we need to give the UN more money for his germ team and all of this. And he wants the UK and the US to contribute all the money. Like instead of actually using the money to figure out our problems, like with all the supply chain shortages and with the baby formula shortage, baby starving, food shortages, in, you know, inflation, uh, mass migration from the third world, um, you know, problems that really actually matter, uh, your health care being just totally not there like the healthcare system in the u.s is, is totally screwed up to the point of like no return you know instead of using like money to like figure out real problems that affect the average american they want to give it to the globalist institutions to uh fund their proxy wars in you know central eurasia and um you know to siphon it to billionaires so that's what it's all about and I'm really upset about that and uh, I will continue to expose it. But in the meantime, uh, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Also follow me on Gab and Twitter. And if you want to contribute to my channel, I have a Patreon linked in the description below. You can contribute. Other than that, it's been Press. Keep your head up, stay real, and no fear.